It's a question I've seen many times on forums. Is it better to mount your coral frags vertically, like they were growing, or horizontally, where they're gonna have more connection with their mount? Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and this is a video all about the best way to mount your Acropora fragments, care of a just published paper all about the topic. So, there is a paper that was just published this May of 2020, in Biodiversitas called Coral Transplantation on a Multi-Level Substrate of Artificial Patch Reefs, the effect of fixing methods on the growth rate of two Acropora species. In this short paper, which you'll find linked in the description below, a team of researchers from Indonesia are looking at the best way to rehabilitate reefs that have been affected by bleaching. One of the major ways people think that we could do this is by transplanting coral from a healthy reef back into an unhealthy one to reseed it with different coral species. So if we're going to do that, what would be the best way to go about it? Well, according to the paper, there are a few ways that we might be able to do this. Obviously, you can mount frags on existing rocks and on dead coral. You can make artificial reefs and just wait for coral to naturally establish itself. Or you could do a combination of the two where you build an artificial reef and mount coral fragments on it. And it turns out this last option works the best. Your artificial reef will keep sediment and algae away, providing the coral that you've mounted on it good growing opportunities. Working in the water just off Penjang Island in the Java Sea, Indonesia, this group used fragments of Acropora aspra and Acropora copiosa in conjunction with a custom multi-platform artificial reach reef, which they call an artificial patch reef. They've deployed 12 of these reefs in the water just off the southeastern end of the island and attached coral fragments both vertically and horizontally to the levels of their APR structure. Interestingly, they didn't glue their coral down. Instead, they attached the coral using zip ties to nails that had been placed into the concrete of their artificial reef. I've never seen this method before, but they point out that they had good success and it's just as effective as using epoxy or cement to attach the fragments. Acropora that was mounted horizontally had better rates of survival. On average, 95% of these fragments survived compared to only 85% of fragments that were attached vertically. The team believes that this could be because when you mount one vertically, corals are gonna spend a lot more energy attaching themselves to their substrate. Whereas a horizontally mounted coral is gonna have a lot more surface area touching it and therefore can spend less energy overall on attaching. I do wonder though, could glue or epoxy change the results? Because if you attach coral with one of those methods, it's gonna be much more firmly in contact with the substrate versus a coral that is just sort of zip tied to it. Now, Acropora mounted vertically grew faster than those that they mounted horizontally, but this does seem to be affected by the overall growth pattern of the coral in question. Acropora copiosa seemed to do fine in either orientation, it didn't really matter, but Acropora aspra did much better with vertical mounting. The paper attributes this to the different growth pattern that aspra has when compared to copiosa. You can see just by looking at it that it branches a lot more aggressively than the other species does. So there you have it. You can mount your Acropora frags in any orientation, but for the best success, you should probably take into account the growth habit of the coral and try to mount your frag in a way that sort of matches how it would normally grow. I know, sort of anticlimactic, but now you know. It really doesn't make a big difference in the end. Interestingly, there is a paper that they referenced about mounting coral on dead coral skeletons. And I'm gonna check that out because I do have some dead coral skeleton in my tank now due to a little bleaching event that I've been going through. So I hope that you are staying safe and you're able to find food, medical care, all that kind of stuff is in short supply right now. There's so much going on in the world right now. Our reefs can still provide, you know, a little bit of an escape for us all where we don't even have to leave our homes. So there's that we can be thankful for. I hope that you enjoyed the video. There is a link down below, so check it out. It's in the description. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.